Hello, this is Sizwe Podcast. Today I'm with I'm with my co-host Agnes. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. And guys, today we are lucky to have in our midst a very important person. And I say that because the topic that we are we are bringing to you today is is one, one of the things that are dear to our heart as immigrants who are having our children here. We are going to talk about marriage. And we have in our midst Mary Ikoku. Mary is a community person. She's an avid gardener and a teacher of Igbo language here in Edmonton. She also has her children here, and this topic is really something that we want to elaborate on. Welcome, Mary. Thank you so much. We Agnes. want to know more about you. Like Agnes said, my name is Mary Ikoku. Mm-hmm. I'm a teacher with the Edmonton Igbo School, and um, I love gardening, as she said. I'm a mother of Three, four, you know? Yeah, uh, you're an African woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I also teach with a, my children's liturgy, that is children's Sunday school in wow. my community church. Yeah. And as a wife, I have to play my role as a wife and as a mother. Yeah. Thank I, you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll get to know you more as we go on, Patricia. And today we are going to Eastern Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Marie is going to tell us about marriage in Eastern Nigeria. Do you guys pay bride price? Thank you so much, Patricia. <laughs> bride price is one of the crucial things you have to do in Eastern Nigeria in order to get married, and that's one of the things that validates. Your marriage. Mm. Yeah. And here we are in Canada. We want our kids to know more about our cultures and how we do marriages, we do festivals and everything. Yes. So today you are going to teach, go, go through how you do it in Nigeria. Well, I'm not going to talk about Nigeria per se. I'm going to specifically talk about Eastern Nigeria. Oh, okay. So which group of uh, tribe are in the Eastern Nigeria and which type of bride price in that tribe that you're going to talk about? Ethnically, the group in Eastern Nigeria are the Igbos. The Igbos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know that name. Yes, I know (laughs) it too. (laughs) And we have different states where you find this Igbo ethnic group. But are they all in the Eastern? Yes. Okay. You have... The Abians, Imo, oh. Anambra, Enugu, Ebony, and some part of rivers and delta states. Okay. We have Igbo speaking people in all these areas. And they all have one particular uh, tradition for their marriages. Yeah, marriage, t- kind of, they have, there is a little variation yeah. in culture, mm-hmm. but the basic things are the same. In all Igbo land, when marriage, before marriage takes place, mm-hmm. which we know marriage as the union of two people, there must be the consent of the parents as well as the payment of bride price. Awesome. In between these two, there are other processes that take place. Okay. But the crucial things that validate the marriage in Igbo land is the consent of the parents and the paying of bride price. Awesome. Guys, if you just join us, this is Sizwe Podcast. Uh, previously, we have had t- different community come into our studio to talk about marriages. I have one person from my country, Ghana. We've had Patricia talk about marriage in Zimbabwe, which I want one of my kids to go and get <laughs> married there because there are cows involved. And then we had jo- Joseph come here to talk about the bride price in South Sudan. Today, we are privileged to have someone come from one of the tribes in Nigeria. I know there are a lot of tribes in Nigeria, but today we are talking specifically from the group that comes from the eastern part of Nigeria. I thought it was only Igbo, but the number of tribes, but the key thing is they all pay bride price. Yes. And Mm -hmm. we want to know more. Okay. So, for in Igbo land, Mm -hmm. for a marriage to take place, like I told you before, two people are in love. Of course. Sometimes <laughs> in the olden days, there could be different ways of marrying. Mm-hmm. There could be arranged marriages by the oh, families. Yes. Yeah. There could be marriages that are as a result of two people being in love. So I'm going to talk 
specifically about two people who are in love. Yeah. They have found themselves and they have decided to marry. The first thing that they do, the, the groom does, is to come with his parents to meet the family of the bride-to-be. Yes. That's the first step. When they are coming, they usually come, the, the, the guy, that's the groom, usually mm-hmm. come with his parents, parents, especially the father and maybe other relatives, one or two other people. Mm-hmm. But in the case where the parents is not there, is not disposed, maybe he's sick or mm. he's not alive, the groom has to go with his oldest uncle. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think it's very, Patricia, I think in my culture it's like that. The man, the, the groom, will, will rather tell the uncle that I have found somebody. Mm-hmm. So normally they, you, we assume that they feel sad to go and tell their dad. Yes. But for, for your tribe, they, if the, 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 the father is alive and mm-hmm. active, he has to go with the son. Yes. Okay, now I'm getting the difference. And <laughs> when they are going, they can go with some cola nuts, mm-hmm. a keg of palm wine, and a, a bottle of aromatic snap. A romantic <laughs> one? Snap. An aromatic, an alcohol, we they call snap. Snap, Precisely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are different brands of alcohol, whiskey, and the rest of that. But they value that snap so much. Seaman's you don't aromatic know, you snap. You don't know the snap? No, In my culture, don't. that is the... The, the main well, that's point the one of, that yeah, you were talking one about. I was talking about, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so. And that one, they give it to your uncle yeah. to go and put it under the bed. bed. And in case you <laughs> run away. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the first items or gifts they go with. Okay. And in my place, they don't just come and say, oh, I want to marry your daughter. No, it, does, it's, it doesn't happen that way. Maybe when they come, they will introduce themselves then at the end, they might say, oh, they go with a lot of adage, proverbs. Mm-hmm. They go around of, it. Yeah, <laughs> they keep moving round and round until finally the man can say, oh, I saw this beautiful flower in your compound <laughs> and we want to pluck it. Oh, well, the man, wow. If the man has more than one daughter, he uh-huh. can say, which flower is that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then they, they groom to be will now say, it's so, 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 and so. Okay. It's yeah. Adak, it's Adama, it's Amaka, it's, it's in Lade, Kechi. it's yeah. in Kechi. <laughs> so, the, mm. Okay, now the parents of the bride-to-be will say, okay, you know, they will eat the cola nut, smile, and then the mother of the bride-to-be is asked to go and call the girl. Oh, like that is when they, they are coming to greet Yes. Okay, okay. So when the girl comes, they will try to find out if the girl knows the groom. Mm. If he knows the suitor, you know? Yes, yeah. Yeah, they will ask her some questions like, do you know this guy? Sometimes the girl will say, you know, shyly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yes. these days, so those and days. <laughs> she will be using her fingers, to uh, her toes to write something on the ground. Oh, Really? It's not, but you it, know, it's not like, yeah, oh. Yeah, it's just being shy. <laughs> yeah. And once they do, she does that, they know, oh, that's it. Oh. So she'll be asked to go back. Oh, awesome. And then, bro, before she leaves, they, she usually asks, look at what they have come for. Do we accept whatever that comes from mm-hmm, them? Mm-hmm. If she says yes. At that means she has that given consent. Cast. Yeah, yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that means she has given her consent. Okay. So mm-hmm. that's the first stage, anyway. Mm-hmm. The second stage will now be the stage of what we call investigation. Oh, hmm. okay. This time, the bride's family to be mm-hmm. will send someone to go and investigate, find out the kind of person. The family the groom is from, yes. the kind of people they are. Yes. Do they have any hereditary disease? Mm-hmm. Do they have mental health, especially madness running in their family? family. Mm-hmm. Do they have some negative behavior, some vices like are they robbers? Mm-hmm. Do they steal from people? Mm-hmm. And so many other vices like that. Wow. So they wow. have to find out. 
the same time they are doing their own underground investigation, the groom's family are equally doing theirs. Oh, about the where the bride also yeah, comes from. Because where the the, yeah, the the groom family will also do theirs because yes. probably that's the first time of their seeing the girl. Yes. Their son might know the girl. Yeah, but, but the family yes. family doesn't know and their son might not even know the intricate, you know, the real thing about the girl. She's maybe she he met her in, in the school, city, yeah, in yes, school. So, yes. So both families we go for the investigation at different times, you know. Wow. Known, wow. Known, wow. known or known to the yes, others. Yes. So when that has been completed, then the girl's family now will tell the groom's family, okay, whenever you are ready for the next visit, we, we are, are ready. ready. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So that served the first phase of the oh. marriage. Wow. Yes. Let's talk about the investigation. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> no, no, but, but Patricia, it's not the same thing like now when people are getting married, they ask them to go for doctors uh, to check, go check their blood. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whether you are A, S, yeah, or S, S. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least so that if you want to have babies, you're not going to have kids because both of you your blood doesn't. So in their in the olden days, that is their own form of <laughs> saying we are doing blood check. Yeah. Wow, wow. So yeah, we but I've that. never heard that on our side of the world. Oh, especially go, go sending somebody to go and investigate. Investigate, yes. Yeah. What if uh, the investigation is negative and the, these people are not good people? What Rem- happens? Remember, it's not one person that is doing the investigation. Mm-hmm. Like in my family. My family can send my uncle. Mm-hmm. My family can also get somebody, a neutral person, mm-hmm. to ask questions about them. This family. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, my daughter is about to be married into this family. family. Can what you kind find of out people s- are they? Yes, what kind of people are they? I think it is, very, it is not very common in my country, but it's subtle. Like my, 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 the reason why in my culture they don't normally allow you to intermarry from one tribe to another. It's because they cannot do that. Because mm-hmm. if you are ma- married to the nest, the family that they know, then they already know the family. So mm-hmm. for me, for example, one of the challenges that I faced was that I married from a tribe that is farther away. And because they don't know anything about the family, they, they never, ever agreed. Well, what yeah. do you mean they never ever agreed? They you never, are still married. They never ever agreed for like how if they know that, oh, you are going to marry to this man's son. They already know that man. They already know what is in the family. So they can say yes because they know them. Mm-hmm. But when, when you are marrying from a different tribe, it is one of the, the difficulties the, the traditional people have to do this investigation. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. they will say no. Yeah. No, yeah. you cannot go and marry from... From, from that tribe. Yeah, from that, that tribe. And if you push, that means you have, for me, it took me a lot of years, like five years for my father to say yes. Okay, wow. like in our own, even if the family, like my where I'm married mm-hmm. is very close. Mm-hmm. Even if we know each other before, the family knows each other. There are things the fam- this family might not know about that family. Yes, so that because investigation. You see, because you are not from the same clan, mm-hmm. you are not from the same family, yes. you are not from the same hamlet, there are things you might not know about yeah. me. Yeah. You see maybe in the market and wave, Mm, you don't mm. know so much about yes, the family. Yeah. So so we have this person, we call this person a go-between. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is the go-between that does this. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. It's so, so, pro, it's so, have, so pro, that pronounced. That is when you yeah. know more about the family, where your child or your daughter is going, going into. into. Yeah. Or where your son where, wants where, to where, marry. where your grandkids will come from. Another, <laughs> thing, another, thing they, another reason why they do the check is to know in that family... Their fertility rates. Oh, is their family are they able? Their daughters do they produce children, or do they take years to get to get pregnant? Interesting. They also check if that family they have cases of divorce, because in, then nobody wants to marry a woman that any little thing she will she, she run pack. back. She will pack. <laughs> <laughs> So they will check these as well. Wow, some these of the are details. Check. Mm-hmm. This, this is During detailed the work, yeah. Investigation period. Yes. Another thing they check in my own place in wow. Igoland is 
There is this caste system they have, which they call osu. Osu. Mm-hmm. Osu. Osu. Yes. Osu, osu is mm-hmm. a form of caste system. Yes. So some people that believe in it, mm-hmm. they do also check for that. Yeah. Which I am not going to dumble into the osu caste system because yes. I know with religion, those things are trying to be fixed away. Yes. But we still have some. And People I need, who yeah, are strong and yes. very rigid about yes. culture. Mm-hmm. So, in the olden days, this is one of the things they check if that family is osu mm-hmm. or have anything to do with the osu caste. Then, then my child will not marry from that. No, awesome. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the phases of marriage. Processes. Yeah, so you go and greet the family does the investigation. Then the next one, when investigation is done and the, uh, the both families agree, Satisfied, the next yeah. one will now be the one they call Ikwakanuza. Ikwakanuza. Knock, 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 knock. Knocking at the door. Hey, guys, you want to go to Igbo, Igbo, Igbo <laughs> land to get married? Listen. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it is very interesting, but that is what defines us. It is. Yes. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. It is interesting. It's amazing to see this. Wow. So that's what we call it. That's knocking at the door. Then the man, the groom, and the family will now come with gifts or whatever. Then. None of this is still the bride price. No, no. yet. <laughs> <Can> you? <laughs> We're not no. yet. You still not pay the bride price yet. If for you to marry an Igbo lady, you have be, to be strong. Mm-hmm. You have to be ready for it. Because <laughs> they don't want to give out their child, their daughter away. Tomorrow she will come back. Mm-hmm. Or t- tomorrow the, ma- the, the man will be using her as a punching bag. Mm-hmm. So that's why you have to go this Row around, yes. You know? mm-hmm. So if you can go through all these junctions, exactly, then then, then you you, you you've proved yourself as a yeah. You, you you are able to prove that you really love the girl, yes, and true. that you are ready for marriage, yes, and that you are now a man, not a baby man that the mom or dad is pushing. You are old enough. Go, go and get married. yourself married. <laughs> Your mates are married. No. <laughs> okay. So the ikwakanuzo involves bringing gifts and. Um, some other right, the gift might include the um, wrappers for the girl's mother, mm-hmm. yam, rice, so many things. Just knocking. <laughs> 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 that is the name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the next one after the Kwakanuzo, the girl, it's sent. I know because of westernization, mm-hmm. some of these things don't happen. Anymore like this. Yes. They, there is an average they, form yeah, of it. Yeah, very now. good. Yeah. So they improvise all all of this. Yes, in a they way. can do it in one or in two occasions. Okay. No more. Do this this time. You wait for another one month. You come for the next stage. Mm-hmm. They can do, the, but the first one, the introduction, is done alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That one you don't skip. You it. don't skip it. Okay. And the bride prize you don't skip. You can okay. include the bride prize on the same day. You are doing the other one, but introduction it stands alone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so after the kwakanuzo and every other thing is done, the bride to be is expected to go visit the groom's family. family. Hey, who takes her there? <laughs> yes, <laughs> in Igbo land, mm-hmm. the girl is expected to go for what they call four days or sleepover. More Sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the Canadians the say Canadian sleepover. Yeah, sleepover. So you go for four days, four market days sleepover. Mm-hmm. During that time, the family of the groom will use style to watch their, their, their daughter in law to be. be. They watch how you dress. They watch how you talk. They watch what you do. They what you know. Hey, my God. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> but, like, you, wow. you already know that there are ISIS at your back watch. I'll put up my best behavior. Yes, yes trust exactly. Me. Me. I'll put my best behavior. But do you know the irony? Mm-hmm. Some girls, even at that point in time, will just, you know, they will like just be themselves. themselves. Be, be, be who they are. Be yeah. who they are. So <laughs> if they are, they are who they are, mm-hmm. if you still love the girl, you go for her. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But some people, this is where their mom comes in and say, no, 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 no. 
you are not going to marry this girl. She is this, she is that. Oh my she wow. is this, you know? God. But if you, you push me to this level and you tell me your son cannot marry <coughs> me. Who accompanies the girl mm-hmm. for the first time? Okay. A friend or a younger sister mm. or her very good friend can go with her. Mm. Okay. okay, because in my culture, an aunt. Oh, okay, at least, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that you say, don't do that. You have to do yeah. this. Yeah, no. yes, <laughs> <a BFA, laughs> yeah, so be a a very good friend or a younger sister. sister. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, guys, if you just join us, this is Sisway Podcast. Today, we are talking about marriage. And the reason is that we have moved from our land of birth to settle here in Canada. We want our own children to value these cultures that we used to have and we want it to continue to the next generation. Previously, we talked about the different tribes. Today, we are dealing with Igbo tribe in eastern Nigeria. It's interesting, guys. Let's go there and get married. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so... Mm. That's that stage. And after the four days visit, mm-hmm. the girl goes home. Okay. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like... She, she doesn't go home empty-handed, of course. Oh. She's expected to go home with gifts. Hey, this gift thing is... Hey, is, is, is too much. <laughs> well, the oh. amount of gifts she goes home with mm-hmm. determines the amount of love the family oh. has for her. Okay, wow. so who pays for this gift? It all depends. The husband to be will buy her some wrappers, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. jewelries if he has the money. Okay, it is not mandatory, right? But she has to go home with a gift from yeah. the the man's family. Yes, mm-hmm. some other people can give her gift her some things. Okay, the mother in law can gift her something if mm-hmm. she wishes, if she likes her. Father-in-law, yeah, so if you don't get <laughs> if you don't get anything from your <laughs> mother-in-law no. to be, you no. should it, it, know no. that. <laughs> but mm. it, these are not mandatory, but it, it speaks a lot. Yes. About oh yeah. The mm. Yes. And about the family too. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and after that stage, when she gets home, the mother calls out other women. Come and see what my daughter, my daughter has brought to. No? <laughs> oh. And it is that time that the girl makes up her mind that the family will ask her, Are you sure you are ready to marry this guy? Yes. She said, her response determines the next stage. Okay. If she responds positively, now they will now tell them, Okay, whenever you are ready, our daughter is ready. Oh, mm, that's so beautiful. That's, that's so beautiful. So, so on that day, on, on that day when both of us are ready, I think we are running out of time, right? Yeah. Okay. So on that day when the when both families are ready, what happened? Okay. That's the day of the bride price. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, okay. And the presentation of gifts. Again? The bride's family will cook. <laughs> the bride, the groom's family will come with lots of people. Sometimes they come with boxes, with, you know. <laughs> A bus full, full of, of people. family members, yes, yes, because they are going to eat, drink, wine, and dine, and enjoy. Wow, wow. because they are getting married. And on that, but this particular day, that's the day the bride price will be paid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the day of payment of bride price, this bride price is very crucial in Igbo land because mm-hmm. bride price, as I told you before, is one of the things that validates marriage mm-hmm. in Igbo land. In Igbo land, yes. Mm-hmm. In Igbo land, you can have a girlfriend, she can have children for you, so long as bride price is not paid, she is not married to you. Those wow. children are not yours. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let me not dumble into that one for <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot. Yes. Yeah. So for the issue we are talking about in real situation, ideal yes. situations. Yeah. On that day. Mm-hmm. On <laughs> that day that the bride price will be paid, maybe two members of the groom's family mm-hmm. will go into an inner room mm-hmm. with two or three members of the the bride's family. Bride family. Mm-hmm. And there they will do what we call the negotiation of the bride price. Yeah. In Ebola land, we don't just give money and say this is the bride price. No. The elders, they start with either a broomstick, broomstick or ordinary stick. Mm-hmm. They might bring so many broomsticks, count it, give to the groom's family. Mm-hmm. That's the, the three, two, three men oh, yeah. representing yeah. them. They will count back. 
It can remove some if they want and return. You know, there is this negotiation oh, going back it's a and negotiation. with the broomsticks. Yes. So each broom has a price. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. So at the end, they will come to reach a compromise whereby one takes it and doesn't remove anything from yes. it again and then mm-hmm. return it. Exactly. And that, that is that is the price. At that point, the price has been named. They have agreed to a price. But there is a myth going on that in Igbo land, they take a lot of money for bride price. <laughs> and I stand to say that that's not true. Mm-hmm. In Igbo land, we pay bride price is as low as 50 cents. Are you Cent? <laughs> yes, if you convert it to Naira. No, after after taking all this gift upon gift, gift, yeah. gift it's from... It's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. The bride price can range from 20 Naira to 120 Naira. And is that the the, the count of the broomsticks? Yes. Okay. It okay. might not be. They can say, okay, they can take six sticks. And that six sticks, they rep- might represent one, might represent 20 Naira. Oh, okay, so 20 times 6. Yes. So that is what the family has agreed that you should pay. Yes. And then sometimes when the groom gives the money to the father-in-law to be, mm-hmm. some father-in-laws will also take some money out of it and give you the balance. Oh. And tell you, I am not selling my daughter to you. Rather, marry her like a wife and treat her well. Wow. Um, that's beautiful. Well, do you know how much... Patricia's tribe they pay <laughs> <laughs> between so from from five to how many cows? Really? Yes. yes. So we, we will pay using cows. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think I think we should go right to Nigeria. Price we pay with money, cash. Ca- okay, so, so that small. that number of stakes will be translated into. Money, money and yes. that mm-hmm. is given to the bride mm-hmm. family, and that that and that is. Yeah. And the rest is like. Every other thing is it's not it's yeah it's just it's making just it more fun. Wow, gifts. these are gifts. So if a man happens to bring the whole world to the family without going in for bride the, price, the negotiation of yes, this yes, and no bride price is paid, you are still hako habiting. That marriage is invalidated. It's not valid because bride price is not paid. So the two major things, as I said before, that solidifies or validates a marriage in Igbo land is the consent of the parents, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. paying of the bride pr- price, and finally, the, because it's after the bride price that the parent, the parent give their blessings mm-hmm. to the, their daughter and their son. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Patricia. So that's where we get the blessings. Yes. yes. So for a child who's in Canada... Who doesn't know about bride price? What would you tell them about this process? Because when a, this child is going to get married, we still have our elders here we meet. Oh. Because sometime last year we had um, our Igbo, a member of our Igbo community whose daughter got married mm-hmm. here, and the daughter even married a Caucasian. But all these steps we have followed. Wow, because the man, that, that the might be very beautiful. Yeah, was informed. Yes, mm-hmm. that these are our traditions. Yes, awesome. So, wow, we'd like to follow. We are cultural people. Mm-hmm. At the same time, we are religious people. Awesome. Yeah, guys, if you just join us, I think we are bringing the curtain to a close. But the gist of this message has been already given, and it Ma- Mary has described it complete completely. What, what Patricia and I, Mary, want to see is a lot of our own kids marrying from our community and observing some of these beautiful traditions so that in the next hundred years, we, our, our tradition is not lost in the midst of many, but a few of us will still be holding, or even more of us will still be holding on to it. Mm-hmm. Mary, before we go, we normally ask our guests if they have something to tell our audience, our youth, parents, I, I think you are the only person who came to talk about ma- marriage that this question didn't come on. Like, people charge so much mm-hmm. that prevents our youth here to shy away from our tradition. But guys, if you want to go to marry in Igbo land, go. 
you can afford it. Oh, it's Trust me. Cheap. It's, <laughs> if you say it's cheap, no, man, we cannot it's, use it's the word cheap. cheap. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it is beautiful, it is beautiful and it yeah. is something that you can hold on to. So if you are from Igbo or you are from Nigeria, please don't shy away from this tradition. It is beautiful when you are doing it. Invite us. We will come. Okay. What I, I have two things I have to say advice for people. If you want to marry in Igbo land, please come. We have beautiful <laughs> brides. <laughs> and we don't charge so much. The gifts, are, it depends on what you can afford. Mm-hmm. Nobody forces you to do to bring so much gifts. Yes. Some people do give out so much in order to impress. Impress, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. To impress their in-laws to be. And this makes other people, when they see it, they, yeah. they, they are scared. I'm telling you, if, mm-hmm. you, if you watch their videos, it's and like, you're like, I'm telling that's like, too extravagant. Thank you for breaking this down yeah, so much. Yes. People that make it, that, you know, some people go extra mile in being mm-hmm. extravagant. Mm-hmm. That even in the church wedding, people wed every day. Some people go for church blessing and wedding is done. Yes. But some people want to have theirs on social media. Yes. Impress people. Yeah. So that is not what it is. It's supposed to be. Then my next advice to people is this. If you want to get married, please follow the tradition, the good tradition of knowing where the girl is from and other things. Meet your in-law if you love the girl, meet your in-law to be. Tell him who you are and what you can afford. Yes. It is when you try to impress him that they expect more from you. Awesome. But if you awesome. tell them who you really are, the most important thing is, are you going to live with your daughter in peace and harmony? Mm-hmm. Are you going to take care of their daughter? That is number one priority of every, every parent. parent. Every parent. Yes, of yes. course. Don't try to impress them with your lots of yams, money, oil, bags of rice. Mm-hmm. If you give them, they will collect. They will never refuse. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you don't have it, go to your in-law. Tell your in-law, I don't have all this, but I'm ready to take good care of your daughter, and I'll pay the bride price. And you will see. It will happen. And bless wow. you. Come. Wow. Blessing, they will bless you yeah. and your wife. To go sure. into the war and be truthful. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank for you for taking me. us to Nigeria. Yeah, oh, I'm telling you, now, now <laughs> I, I want you to, to go to Eastern sh- Nigeria. <laughs> Eastern Nigeria, popularly known as Biafra. Yeah, Biafra. Yeah. Where you have lots of fish to eat. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And please subscribe to it. And if you are watching us, you are in Edmonton and Eat Environs. We are looking for more countries in. There are over 52 different countries in, in, in Africa. We want to hear from you too. How do you do your ma- marriages back home and here? We are doing this because we are recording it and storing it that our children who are here will also be able to fall in love with how we did it so that they don't lose their, their heritage. We look forward to see you. Send messages to us and you are wel- welcome in our studio. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm going to Nigeria. (laughs) Robbie, let's go and get married. (laughs)